how to create and set up a newsletter into MailChimp. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can get started. Welcome guys to TechExpress. Uh, my name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you how we can create a MailChimp account, how you can set up your account. And I'm going to be showing you step by step how we can create our newsletter. And then later on, we will make a few tests, a really, really simple test. So just in case that you want to get started selling and you have already added a few contacts, we can now start by today with our newsletter. So the very first thing you want to do is to go into the MailChimp.com. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can start a free trial. And of course, there's an actual free account if you want to check it out. Just the free version, the free trial is going to be giving you access to all the elements for a limited time. So once you are here into the MailChimp, what you want to do is to hit in down below into the link once again. And it's going to be sending you into the sign up section. So what you want to do is to look out for the sign up totally for free. We do have the free version for one month. So what you want to do is to input an email as well as a username. You want to provide a passcode and then you want to hit into sign up. Now, as you can see, it was really easy to set up an account. If you wanted to try the standard version, you want to go into the start free trial. And this one is going to be taking us to the payment method. So as you can see, they're not going to be charging just absolutely anything. So once you hit into all the information, you can import all these uh, valuables and hit into pay now. In my case, for example, in this tutorial, I'm just going to stick around with the free version. So we're going to go back into free and continue free. Now let's set up our account. First of all, let's try to enter our first, our last name, as well as my business type, my business name, and then we have a phone number. This is totally optional, but if you wanted to add that, then we're actually good to get started and go for next. Then later on, it's going to be asking us a little bit more about our business address. If you don't have any address, you can leave this part like this open. But in my case, I'm just going to go for the first postal. I'm just going to go for this specific example. This is just an example, so I don't want to mess around here. Hit into next. And lastly, what your top goal with MailChimp? We want to look out for send email people find helpful or entertain it. This is going to be helping us to set up our dashboard. So the actual main team is going to be helping us to have like the most uh, feature tools in just one place. So let's go for next. And great. What do we want to explore first? Let's go for the email and hit into next. And lastly, how many email subscribers do we have? Let's go with the uh, 500 fewer and hit into next. And lastly, how do you sell your to, uh, to your customers? Let's go for social media or we're not currently selling. That totally depends on what is your actual needs, your brand, whatever. Hit into next. And lastly, we just need to import our brand. If you wanted to import your custom website URL, you can do that. Let's go for example, uh, Instagram, hit into next and all my colors, my images, everything is going to be in just one place. So how should we stay in touch? Let's go for mail teams percent and hit into continue. Now that we have set things up, now that we have our account, let's import a few people inside our uh, actual main team so we can start selling and sending some emails and newsletter. So first of all, I want to locate my home section. You can scroll a bit down and take it out how we can have the Azure Context set up and automation and connect your apps. So let's go and focus into Azure Context. Let's go for Import Context. And here, there's actually a few ways that we can import some context. We can do this manually if you wanted to. You can just copy and paste. We can import this from another service or we can upload a file like a TXT file, a CSV file or a tab. That totally depends on you. If I choose like a copy and paste, hit into continue, I need to have these values. Let's say that maybe this one is from a document of Excel, of uh, Google Sheets, whatever. So you, you need to have the email address as well as the first name, the last name and the address. And here you can continue to organize this. And here you can go into continue to organize. And this automatically is going to be taking us to do this automatically. So what I wanted to do now is to hit into the exit mark. And if I go into create into the upper side, we can do a few things. We can go into the regular email. We have automation and we have a landing page. So if you want to create a actual uh, newsletter, let's go for the email and look out for a template. Here in the template, we can use one of a lot of templates that are totally for free. So I can go into get started. 
And this one is going to be giving us a lot, really, really a lot of tools that can be helping us to get started. What I wanted to do is to look out for some newsletter. So I'm going to screw a little bit down and check it out that we have the basics. And this one has upgrade to use. So what you wanted to do is to just look out for free versions. For example, here's a sell your product, make an announcement. Since we are making a newsletter, you want to look out for make an announcement. And I'm going to be choosing make an announcement. So now we have on the actual right part, my blocks, my style, and on the left part is my element of how it's going to be looking my email. So here where it says creative assistant, if I click there, it's going to be taking me into a content studio. This content studio is going to be helping us to create a new design. So we don't need to, uh, let's say, start by scratch anytime we wanted to start with those. So for example, here is going to, how it's going to be looking from our brand source. In my case, I just used Instagram as an example and check it out all the actual elements that has been created used with my only um, website. And I'm going to hit into insert design and you're going to import that. So it's really important that if you have an actual website, you can just import that like really, really quick. But in my case, I just use Instagram as an example. So now we have the have an announcement to make, save your big news. I'm going to go into the edit block and this is how we can edit our elements. So let's go and delete this and change this from welcome to our first newsletter like that. Share your big news. Uh, I'm, I'm going to type of welcome to the team. Maybe I'm going to leave it like that. And here, as you can see, anytime, every time I choose a block, I can replace like from one text into another one and from one image into another one. So what I want to do instead of going to the announcement full PNG file, I can replace this. And there we go. This is how it's going to be looking our actual uh, newsletter. So and then we have here the announcement. We have the draw attention with the headline and here's the button. So the button is the last stuff that you wanted to edit. So it's like a uh, call to action. So I wanted to go for find out more. Let's say subscribe now linked to I'm going to go for email address or anchor linked. And here's going to be appearing to my ankle linked. If you think that there's something that needs to be added, for example, here you can go into blocks and add some social follows. You just need to drag and drop here and there we go this is how it's going to be appearing our actual links after that hit into save and close i'm going to go into preview and test and go into the enter the preview mode this one is going to be taking me into the preview mode how it's going to be looking into desktop into a mobile or into the inbox mail from our newsletter and that's how we can do some newsletter using the MailChimp. So hopefully, guys, this was a very useful video for you. Now you guys know how to get started with the MailChimp, how to get started with newsletter, and you can do so much more stuff than that. So you just need to go into your account and figure out what is the kind of stuff that you wanted to create, speaking about emails, speaking about creating websites, landing page, and much more. So thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more tools of the MailChimp.com. Thank you so much for watching the video. And with that being said, I'll try to see you on the next video. See you soon.